Hello guys, welcome back to the Rush Work Family Vlog. Uh, there is a lot going on today. Some stuff planned, a few things unplanned I gotta take care of. Uh, just a lot of stuff happening this weekend. It's gonna be a busy weekend. Uh, you guys should come join us, won't you? This is our garden has to get planted this weekend. So I gotta finish the front and I gotta get some more stuff inside done and we gotta get plants in there. It's gotta get done. Uh, this kinda on hold a little bit. I got to work on the pool. The pool area has got to get pretty much done. I wanna get the pool up. I wanna get it filled up. I wanna take it care of. Uh, but before I can do any of that stuff, uh, we had a problem in the basement today and I gotta start taking care of that right away. Uh, let me go show you what's going on. Well, I had to work this morning, so while I was at work, uh, Kristen sent me a picture. I'm like, what am I looking at? Luckily, right afterwards, she called me, and, uh, well, it's a lot better now. It's already, I took care of the actual problem. I'll show you what's going on here, but here, look. Water, 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 water was everywhere. About uh, over here where the sump pumps weren't working is about two and a half to three inches deep. Uh, over here, uh, it kind of stopped right in front of that door. I uh, made it all the way almost to the furnace, uh, completely flooded out all the Lego stuff. Uh, yeah, so I got to deal with a little bit of this down here, make sure things are dried out and things. A lot of washing things to do. We're going to, dude, we're almost going to have to clear completely clear out the basement and figure out what exactly we're keeping not keeping throwing away washing a lot of lego stuff it's, i'm gonna have to take care of i'm gonna have to build or get rid of the boxes uh clothes need wash and everything uh, so what happened is this sump pump here this sump pump feeds uh is fed by the washer uh the sink and i think that's about it sorry this pump over here, that's all the rainwater that uh, comes off the French drains and everything goes to this. What I think happened was we got a ton of rain this week. Uh, this one has been giving me troubles. It hasn't been working all the time. I think at one point, this, and it's probably been a couple days since we've been down here, so this could have happened a day or two ago. This wasn't working. We did laundry. Uh, it flooded. At the same time, this was kicking butt trying to keep up with the rain. Uh, this overwhelmed that because it flooded. Uh, this couldn't keep up, so the drains all backed up. And between the two of them kind of working back and forth with each other, uh, just failed completely. This overheated and just stopped working, which is the main cause of the flood. Then this one just wasn't working. So as soon as I came downstairs, this one, uh, you know, if I kick it, it starts working. So there's something wrong with it. I gotta figure out what it is. It cleared out the basement. Then once this was cleared and the basement was cleared, this one, which after I reset, ended up being able to keep up with what I needed to keep up. Uh, yeah, so I got this going on. Okay, so what I gotta do is all these mats, I'm gonna take out to the uh, driveway and set out there so they start drying. I'm going to throw all the Lego in the uh, Lego container. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll just fill that with water and soap and wash all those. And some empty boxes got to get thrown away. I'm going to start slowly working on this. Uh, but really, I do have to get back to focusing on stuff outside. I just want to start diving into this just a little bit. Well, I'm making some progress. Although it doesn't look like it. Uh, there's been some major progress made. I've been getting the puddles. Uh, there are some puddles I got out. I got the fan going over here, drying this side out. Uh, what will happen is we will probably pick a side, probably this side, I don't know what side yet. Move everything off that side and scrub and clean everything. And then switch sides and scrub and clean everything. And while we're down here, we're gonna organize and rearrange and go from there. Yeah, good times. Not what I had planned to do today. Cause I, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's stuff I need to get done this weekend. This wasn't on that list. 
Okay, taking a break from the basement, sitting out here by the fire pit. There's no fire going. We had a fire last night. Uh, I've been cleaning up some sticks in the yard, throwing it in there for the next fire. I want to start working on the garden. However, to work on the garden, you guys know I need to work over by the pool. I don't want to work over by the pool because I'll be in the back of the house and there's supposed to be a guy coming to fix Kristen's phone uh, within the next half hour. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that I need to be able to see when he gets here. So I'm trying to do stuff around the house, like where I can still see the driveway. Uh, so like I said, I'm walking around, picking up sticks, things like that. So I cut the grass uh, probably this weekend. Then once he's here and gone, I really want to get to working on this uh, garden again. I want to get it planted, uh, which will probably come Sunday, Saturday or Sunday, probably Sunday. We'll get it planted. I don't know. This day has been a day. Like I had a plan today and I know it wasn't going to like work out like exactly as planned, but it, it completely derailed with this basement thing, completely derailed. Uh, and I haven't been able to recover from that. I don't know why I'm just weird like that. Normally I can, like I'm used to like things derailing and making it up as we go. This has got to me. This has mentally got to me. I don't know why. Just was not prepared to deal with the basement today. Now I'm just frustrated. Actually just mad. Uh, so the insurance guy was supposed to be here to fix the phone between 3 and 5. It's now 4.55. I just got a phone call from them about 10 minutes ago. So about 15 minutes before the end of the appointment window saying, yeah, uh, no one's coming. We didn't have a driver in your area. Uh, we have to reschedule. Uh, the next time we can come is uh, two weeks from now. Like, why wasn't this communicated? Like, you knew, you had not known that you didn't have a driver. Like, I don't, how do you not know you don't have a driver? How would you schedule an appointment if you didn't have a driver? And why would you not notify me until 15 minutes before the appointment is supposed to be over that you don't have a driver? Uh, so, yeah, I argued a little bit, got a little upset with the person, kind of feel bad, uh, but I was frustrated. It is what it is. I don't know what else to do. Uh, they tried calling a local store, seeing if any local stores in this area had the parts we needed. They don't. Uh, I'm just frustrated. It's annoying. This whole day has been annoying. So I'm going to go work on the garden to try to uh, remedy my annoyance for the day. Because I'm annoyed. Well, that is looking nice, isn't it? I had to come out here and work on this. And not worry about recording. Uh, just work. Get stuff done. Because I needed to just get my mind off everything else that was happening. However, I couldn't do that, uh, even though I did get all this done, uh, because I got another phone call. I guess when it rains, it pours. Uh, got a phone call from AT&T Fraud, saying, hey, someone in, I think, Jacksonville, Florida, just ordered two iPhone Maxes. Uh, did you place this order? And of course I said, no. No, I didn't. So they're like, okay, we'll take care of it. And for the most part, they did. There's one little thing they couldn't take care of. Uh, one of the orders already got processed. So what I had to do is uh, a bunch of crap. Uh, they're, they're taking care of most of it, 99, 90% of it, 95% of it. Uh, but the one phone that already processed, uh, they rerouted to my house. So I'll get that phone. And then they're sending me an envelope so I can put that phone back in and send it back to them. Uh, but they were able to cancel all the charges and uh, give me a discount on my next bill. It's just frustrating. Just the basement uh, and all their issues. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. It's actually looking pretty good. Uh, the, the phone insurance claim fixer guy that apparently never existed, that didn't show up, it's frustrating. Uh, this fraud thing, again, frustrating. Just one thing on top of another. Uh, today was just a frustrating day, uh, but I'm glad I was able to this much done. Uh, so where do I need to go from here? Uh, buy some dirt, put it in there, plant some flowers. Eventually buy some more stone, put it down, and then just keep on going. Uh, yeah, but as far as this goes, I should be able to plant by, at least plant something. I can buy some stuff myself. I'll buy some stuff early and then I'll wait for uh, Kristen to help buy some, other, some of the other stuff. Maybe tomorrow even, tomorrow or Sunday. I plan on planting stuff. And I see a bumblebee in there, which is awesome. The bumblebee survived. Because uh, that bumblebee could help pollinate everything. Okay, let's go check out the basement. The basement 
for the most part, uh, I've gotten pretty dry. There, there's some puddles. Uh, what I'm going to do here in a second is go spread these puddles out uh, so they could dry. But uh, yeah, the floor is pretty dry. I still have the fan blowing uh, on certain areas. Looks pretty good. Now I got to go, and Kristen and I have to go through and start going through all the stuff. Uh, I took a lot of stuff out of here. Uh, I'm going to have to start sorting Lego and building Lego sets because those boxes need to be pitched. Uh, some stuff over here too needs built. Uh, so I got to build Lego just to get rid of the boxes. Uh, and then I'm still going to do what everything I said I was going to do. I'm going to move everything to one side. We're going to mop everything real good. And then we will move everything to the other side and mop real good, sort through stuff, pitch stuff, purge stuff, uh, get rid of stuff and do a real good thorough cleaning of the basement because it needs done. Also something else that needs done, this needs done or it needs at least worked on. I hope to do that soon too. Okay, uh, there's my basement update. Uh, let's go probably wrap this up here in a minute.